Hello sports fans, I'm James, and you're watching the Total Sports Newsroom. The Southeastern Conference SEC, is poised for a transformative football season as it officially welcomes Texas and Oklahoma, expanding to a 16-team league. In an impressive North Texas Hotel Ballroom, SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey opened the league's media days, calling for a reimagined vision of college athletics. It's time to update your expectations for what college athletics can be, he stated, initiating the four-day event. The SEC, renowned for its 13 college football national titles since 2006, now includes two powerhouse programs, Texas and Oklahoma. Sankey emphasized the challenges and responsibilities that come with leading college sports through significant changes. We as leaders are responsible for navigating uncharted waters of change. Sankey highlighted the need for internal solutions amid external pressures from lawsuits and political influences, cautioning that there are no quick fixes for the issues facing college sports. There's no easy button to resolve these issues. Any reset is difficult. Significant changes are already underway. In May, the NCAA and major conferences agreed to settle several antitrust lawsuits, resulting in $2.8 billion in damages and a commitment to share athletic revenue with athletes. This settlement, pending approval by a federal judge in Northern California, represents a monumental shift in college athletics. We are literally working to make what would normally be a decade's worth of change in a matter of months. Sankey also warned against ceding control to external entities in exchange for new revenue streams, emphasizing the importance of internal leadership. We've been incredibly successful, and we must bring people into the solution without ceding authority. When discussing the conference's size, Sankey reiterated a commitment to the current 16-team structure, despite speculation fueled by recent conference realignments across college sports. 16 is our today, and 16 is our tomorrow. Sankey addressed the ongoing litigation involving the Atlantic Coast Conference ACC, and maintained that his focus remains solely on the SEC's current 16 members. I'm not a recruiter. Our presidents have been clear that I am not going to entangle us in litigation around expansion. The SEC's expansion, while significant, has been relatively stable compared to other conferences experiencing tumultuous changes. The Big 12 now has 16 teams, the Big 10 boasts 18, and the ACC has expanded to include schools in Dallas and the California Bay Area. Meanwhile, the Pac-12 is fighting for survival with just two teams. We know who we are. The Southeastern Conference is the one conference at this level where the name still means something. We restored historic rivalries while adding only 100 miles to the longest campus-to-campus -campus trip for our student-athletes. Stay tuned to Total Sports Newsroom for more updates as the SEC and other college sports leagues navigate these transformative times.